guys, I'm back. 8 by 10 here. This is the first canvas I'm going to do in a series of light and dark with uh, ring pours. And yes, this is a voiceover due to more background noise than I thought I had when I recorded this video. And I think it would have been easier if I would have just took and spun this white off. But I wanted to make sure everything was coated so the paint would slide nice and easy. And I will show you at the end of this the 8x10 with the set of 5 I did with it with the same exact colors. I was very happy. Very pleased. Beautiful work. I was just amazed. And yes, I wish I had my squeeze bottle for these edges, but I don't have one pre-made. I already went through it. So yeah, I'm gonna torch this out. See if we can get all the bubbles removed before we get started. Get all my paints have been layered and we're ready to go. realized just a second that I have to sit down so I had to stop which most people do not stop most painters do not stop when you're doing the tree ring pour because it could really mess it up but I had to sit so here we go and this will show you that sometimes even if you have to pause for whatever reason, if it's especially like if your hand gets a cramp in it, your arm gets a cramp in it, you, you got to sit down all of a sudden, whatever the reason might be, as long as it's early enough in the ring pour, you can stop and start right back up without an issue at all. And with this one, I know I finally got control over the paint to slow it down a little bit. It's like the perfect speed coming out. As I know a few in the last video, it was just coming out way too fast. And getting your happy medium on how fast you want the paint to flow can be tricky sometimes, especially as long as you have to hold your hand there to get it to flow out just right. And I'm loving seeing this dark blue come out and then the white. That's what I was really hoping for because it, it's almost like a bolt of lightning in a dark sky. And that is one of my favorite effects when it comes to tree ring pours and your, you know, your galaxy pours. And I, I tell you, it looks like I have every color of the rainbow in there, yellow, green, red, everything, the, the gold, which that's actually a metallic gold, not a yellow, even though it looks yellow. Getting very right down to the end of my cup. Last little pieces going on here. And check this out. This cup is too cool. Look at the white dots in the bottom of the cup. Um, cool, huh? All right, looks like it wants to flow off of one side. So I kind of need to get it back. 
Because when I spin it, I don't want to lose all of that one side. It's trying to get every last drop of paint to make sure everything moves right. And then I'm gonna go to the other cup. There's some more here. If I can get any, even more to come out. Uh-oh. And I just dripped that paint. So let's fix it. Go ahead, if this should happen, grab a skewer and just take it and run straight across in your lines and just kind of blend it, make it look like it's part of the lines. You don't have to start over at this point because as you will see in a minute, that was hidden. So now I'm gonna scrape out, make sure I got my corners And I know you can hear my baby walking around again. It's like he's restless. At this point, the only thing you should be able to hear is the dog in the dishwasher. All right, let's see. I was debating on if I wanted to move it a little bit more. And then I remembered I forgot to pop my bubbles, so. Pop all them nasty little bubbles. And then, make sure I have plenty of room. It's spin time. Got all that paint flying off, but it's cool. That color's just magnificent and immediate. Deciding I'm really not happy with the two corner pieces. It seems to have a little too much like orange or yellow in it. So keep on doing a little bit of light spinning. I don't want to ruin it by over spinning, but I do want that one little piece on the corner to come off. So, we'll see what happens. And there we go. I got the corner off. Wow. I'm happy, yay. It turned out so beautiful. I just have to stand back and stare at it. I'm just amazed. I did not put any satin in this mix whatsoever, as I was not trying to do the cloud effect. But I'm going to retorch these bubbles and see what else pops up, if anything. Okay, we're going to take this to the side and then. Oh, no, I got to get my uh, drips. Make sure my corners are good. Just tap it, tap it a little bit right there. Pull up a little bit more of these. You do want to make sure you get those drips from the side. If not, it could pull your paint right off your canvas. And you don't want that, especially when it comes out to be something perfect in your eyes and perfect to you.
That was a lot of paint on there. And I know I'm still messing, trying to get this, my edges just so. while I'm staring at it, so it's taking longer than normal because I'm in disbelief at how pretty this is um, because I definitely did not think that color combination would have popped out like this. So yes, yay, I am so happy. All right, we're gonna put this, if I can get my hands on it. We're gonna put it over to the side and then I'm going to show you Whoop. Look at that. It's just stunning. Just stunning. I'm going to put this to the side. And here's a view of that. And then using the last rest of the colors from the set of five that I just done. And here are them all together, the set of five included. Bye for now.